Hey guys, what's happening? So, if you're new to my channel, I designed this 100% uh, 3D printed mining rig uh, probably, I mean, six months, eight months ago. It's running perfectly. Um, so right now I currently have some NVIDIA 1660 Supers and uh, 3070. And one of the issues is that I think they're just too close together. I mean, right now they're not overheating because it's wintertime and it's cold. But during the summertime, it's really difficult to keep these things cool because they're so close together. Um, so like when I originally built this rig, I actually had RX 470s, AMD RX 470 and 570s. And actually I was able to keep those cool, uh, but these cars are a little thicker, so uh, I don't get as much airflow. And then I went back and I designed this fan thing right here. And actually that helps. I can't, I, I've been able to run it during the summertime, but I want to get another 1660 Super. I'm trying to find one at a good deal, a good price, um, but they're they're skyrocketing price. Like I originally bought this Asus one for 250 bucks at uh, Micro Center. I think I bought this one, I think on Offer Opera Craigslist, I can't remember, but that was like 300 um, I can't remember, 350 300 I can't remember. I'm looking to buy another one, but, you know, half the things on offer up are scams. So, I designed a newer, uh, wider thing so I could get some more space here. Um, then I created some expanders and another rail on the back. So it's going to bring it up and make it wider on top. Let me show you what I got going here. Alright, so if you want to do this print in one piece, uh, you need a bigger bed. This is a 300 by 300 CR10 glass. It's not CR10. It's not a Creality printer, but all right, that's the first piece. That's the upper support. Yeah, I mean it was so long that it was 360 millimeters long, so I had to do diagonal. All right, so this should take about eight hours. Let's see how it turns out. All right, here's the side panel, almost finished. I use a little support here. All right, so here are the, this is the lower expander. So before I had actually had a hollow uh, with ventilation tubes, but I noticed that it kind of sagged a little bit. So this new version is solid. I mean, it sagged just a tiny bit, not, not nothing to be worried about. Right, so I'm going to pound in some M3 nuts and then glue them in place. Right, so I'm going to come back a little super glue. Just a tad bit, just so they'll stay in there. That dry. Yeah, it would suck to have these things pop out. When, when it's in the rack, it's going to be really hard to get them back in there. Because of the position of where this thing is at. Right, so I got all the parts prepped. You know, I also like, you know, go back and I chase the holes. Make sure there's some plastic in there. You don't want to get plastic stuck on one of your threads. I also pounded down some more M3s here. It's going to expand it out like that. And hopefully everything lines up. So I should have done this miner. We'll bring it over to the test bench here. Okay, so here's a closer look at the miner on the test bench. So I always originally had designed it just to be a 4 GP rig. But I wanted it to be very compact. But like I said, it, it worked fine with the RX 470s. But, um... You know, it's like part of like my other designs I've showed you guys that the power supply is down below. Um, then I designed the power switch, SSD mount. So I, you know, I wanted something comp compact and small or self-contained and compact. But I need to add this up here. So I expanded this uh, part so hopefully they'll fit. <laughs> I don't know. So this is actually the sagging one I was talking about. So I had actually made that solid. This is actually adjustable, so you can change the heights. But, um, yes, I made it solid. But also, I, when I designed this, I designed it so I could actually also substitute a piece of metal. Like, a, I can't remember, I think it's 20, mil, 20, 20 millimeter by 20 millimeter. And you can buy that at Home Depot, just a solid, uh, like a square tube. I gotta take the four M3 off here. All right, so now I'm gonna add the expanders. Like that, they kind of bring it out a couple inches. Okay, so it looks like my calculations are pretty good. So maybe that. Then I gotta put the back piece on. Yeah, I'm actually also uh, raptorium mining with this thing too. So actually, right now it's like it's a good time to blow it out. It's kind of dusty. All right. All right, there it is. So, yeah, the back is adjustable, so you can actually raise and lower. Like, the majority of the weight actually 
rest on this thing here. So if this actually sags again, might do metal. I don't know. But um, like I said before, it was hollow, now it's solid. So, um, all right, get those things mounted. So I get this thing mounted again. All right, there it is. Kind of running out of space here, right on top of my vise. Um, yeah, so, so far so good. I'm actually mining uh, nice ash, Ethereum nice ash. And uh, yeah, as you can see, this card actually doesn't need to be, it actually has ventilation from out here. So it can be right up on here. I was mainly worried about this uh, this side of here. So I have things kind of over here a little bit more, but um, I'm gonna go into a uh, Fusion 360 and I'll show you the fan duct that I have, but I don't know if I need it yet until it gets hotter. So I'm gonna see how this actually works. And then if not, then I'll print out my fan duct. So the fan duct, well, I guess I'll show it to you in Fusion 360, but it, how it goes, but. All right, here we are in Fusion 360. So here are the parts. This is actually what I create all my parts in. But uh, let me show you the uh, fan duct here. So my thought was I'd actually have two 80 millimeter fans here that go in here. And this would actually go around uh, like the outlet vent, like on the actual, like where it connects would come out here. So I could actually allow air to flow out here, 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 and here, right? So this is actually where the card mounts to the, to the rail. So actually, because air is flowing this direction right here, going downward. Um, and then this would actually provide cool air going between the cards. So these are positioned between the cards. So they'd be flowing, uh, you know, getting fresh, cool air into the actual fans, like the outside fans. Um, but like I said, I don't know if I even need this right now. I'm not even done with it yet. I still got to put the holes in it, but all right, cool. So yeah, I mean, that's about it. So, I mean, I got the four mining rig. <clears throat> I've actually uh, been trying to work on an expansion. It's over here. I've been working on the expansion to do a uh, full ATX. Um, the only problem, uh, I guess I, I'd have to cut it in two. I'd have to cut this strip in two. Where's the strip? Um, to go full ATX, I would actually have to design, uh, the strip. I'd have to cut it in half. That way I actually would fit a print on most printers, um, to get to the full length of a, a full ATX motherboard, like six, uh, GPU. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to keep it in the spirit of 3D printing. You know, I'm trying to make it hundred percent 3D printed and not actually add any, uh, metal parts except for screws. But, uh, all right guys, cool. Having fun.